Hey everyone, Mr. O here. Uh, today, my next presentation is going to be the multiplication finger chart. So like all the other videos in this series, I'm going to demonstrate how you would use it in the classroom. And then I'll also show you how you can use the printable um, at your house so that you can continue practicing growing your brain uh, in a Montessori way uh, from the friendly confines of your home. All right, so first thing for our multiplication finger chart is going to be this board. It looks very similar to our addition finger chart. There are some differences, however. So along the top, you have the numbers 1 all the way up to 10, and then going down the side as well, 1 through 10. Now, the numbers here in the center, these are going to be our multiplication products. So, for example, if I was going to multiply 2 times 2, I would find 2 along the top and 2 along the side, and I will slide to where they intersect. So, 2 times, four, two, two times 2 is 4. So, the way you'll do this at first is you'll start with some prepared equations and here I have a box full of prepared equations and my first equation is 2 times 4 equals so first I will go to my math book to my next blank page and I'll record 2 times 4 equals alright thus recorded now I'll come back to my chart here, and I'll first find 2, and then 4, and I'll slide down, and I see that 2 times 4 is 8. And then I will record my answer. So in my book I have 2 times 4 equals 8. Now, as you go, you might start to encounter facts that you know. 2 times 4 was in fact a fact that I know, so I would place it underneath my facts that I know. In case I encounter one I am still learning, I'll put it under the I'm still working section. So just to demonstrate one more, the equation 4 times 4 equals, again first I will write the equation 4 times 4 equals, then I'll use my finger chart for 4 and I will slide, and I find that 4 times 4, the product is 16. See it, say it, write it, I've recorded. 4 times 4 equals 16, and that was a fact that I was still working on. So this would be the way you're, you would practice this work at the very beginning of your memorization of your multiplication facts. But let's say you are someone who knows your facts pretty well. Now we're going to show the bingo game. For this, you will need our mute chart. Like our control, it has the numbers 1 through 10 along the top, and through the side, what's missing are our products or our answers. So, I will demonstrate how I would do this first bingo game. I'm going to flip over my control chart, and I'm going to draw my first equation. 2 times 3 equals, that is a fact I know, 2 times 3 equals 6. So I'll record 2 times 3 equals 6. Then I'm going to find my product, 6, and place it on my board. 2 times 3 equals 6. Let's try another one. 3 times 3 equals, I know uh, multiplication is repeated addition, so 3, 6, 9, I can practice my skip counting, I think 3 times 3 is 9, but let me go back to my chart just to double check, 3 times 3 in fact is 9, so I'll find my product and then place it on my mute chart here, and now I'll record. 3 times 3 equals 
9. Now, since that was a fact I'm still learning, actually, instead of putting it in the same column as the ones I know, I'm going to draw a line down the middle of my page, and I'll have facts that I know, and I'll have facts that I'm still practicing. So since 3 times 3 was one I went to the control chart for, I'm going to put it over here on the I'm still learning side. Let's do another. 2 times 10. 2 times 10 is 20. That is a fact I know. So I will place my product, 20, back on my board. 2 times 10, they intersect down there. And then I'll record. See it, say it, write it. 2 times 10 is 20. Let's just do one final one. How about 8 times 6? Ooh. I'm still practicing my eight facts, so I'm going to go to my chart. After I've counted in my head, I tried to do my skip counting. For the sake of the video, I'm not going to walk you through that. Eight times six is 48. Ah, oh, I was very close. Eight times six, 48. Clearly a fact I'm still practicing. See it, say it, write it. 8 times 6 equals 48. All right. Now let's say you're looking for a new challenge. You're accustomed to doing the bingo board this way. Next, draw an answer. A product. 14. What is a math fact that you know that equals 14? A times fact. Uh, 7, 2 times is 14. So I could place that on my board. 7 times 2 is 14. And then I would record that just like I did for my others. Because again, what the brain practices, the brain learns. All right, now that is how you would use the material in the classroom. The material at home is the exact same. I have a printable control chart and a printable mute chart. I have a sheet full of prepared equations, which you can cut out if you would like to do the bingo board. And I have done that already. So I cut out the facts I know and the facts I'm still practicing sheets. And the two equations that I cut out are 1 times 9, and that product is 9, so 1 times 9. It's actually going to go, it's going to overlap here. And then the other fact I printed out was 6 times 7. 6 times 7 I know is 42, so 6 times 7, they intersect there. I'll place my, place my product right there. And as I go, of course I'm going to record, and I knew 1 times 9 right away, so I'll put that in the facts I know column. And 6 times 7 is a fact I know, because I always think about touchdowns, uh, so I've learned those ones pretty quickly. But in case you didn't, you might put it in facts I'm still practicing. All right, that's the multiplication finger chart. There are many ways you can use that at first. Remember, the first thing you can do is just, just use your control chart, pull out prepared equations, and then write down the equation, slide your fingers, find the product, record it. Once you're feeling more and more confident in your times tables and your math facts, flip that control chart over, use the mute chart or the blank one, and go through and do your different bingo games. Start by drawing an equation, finding the product and placing it. Second version, draw a product, and then remember what is a, an equation that results in that product. All of these will help you to practice and eventually master your multiplication facts, which is a very important skill in the Montessori classroom. So, get practicing.